What's up homies, this is Jokesta back at you with a brand new video. I'm actually using my camera's microphone, so I apologize in advance for the audio. But I will, I kind of need to do this hand cam style so to show you guys what I'm talking about. And I hope you guys don't mind. Today we're gonna be showing you guys a brand new three finger claw HUD. Now I know a lot of you guys are thumb players and you guys are trying to get into claw or like four fingers and it's hard. The best way to start off is actually using three fingers and then working your way to up to four fingers. So it's gonna be a process. So this is a tutorial type of video. I'm gonna start it off showing you guys how to get into three fingers. Now you can actually use them both ways. You can use it on the left or on the right, depending on, depending on what kind of finger you wanna to use to shoot with. So uh, I prefer the left and a lot of people like to play on the left. If there are some players that like to play on the right, it just depends on how you like it. So let's get right into it. So the first thing first, we're gonna to go to the settings and we're gonna customize our loadouts. So you can see this is what we usually start off with and I'm actually using my Smurf account and I'm going to try to customize everything through here. So let's get right into it. So the first step is actually moving this out of the way. This is something that we're not gonna be using. We're not gonna be using a regular shoot button. We're actually using the ADS. So that's one spot. We're gonna just leave it in the middle. Uh, calling card is gonna go straight up top. Now I'm gonna have this calling card right above there. Now the reason why we have it up there is to know if someone has a high kill streak and we can hunt them down and kill them. Started, make sure to check out the SXC sleeves. These sleeves help me be consistent all the time. I've been uploading videos every day and they help me with my gameplays and to stay consistent and on top of the game. They're made out of carbon fiber. These bad boys survive a long time. Like literally I can use them for a whole entire month and they won't rip. So that's insane. So I highly recommend you guys to try them out. There's a link down below. I'm actually gonna put my phone in uh, guided access so my notifications won't get dragged down. But I would put this score right here in the middle of the screen. So there's a line in the middle of the screen. So you wanna put it right there. And then you actually wanna make this joystick smaller. So we're gonna make it to 63. There we go, 63. Now, this is what I usually do for my trick to find the perfect placement for your joystick is actually placing your finger or your, your uh, hand right in the middle of the screen. And then usually I would measure it like this and just go a little bit down like this. So you kind of want to measure it like that. This is where you want your ADS to be. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna actually put it right now there. So kind of when I shoot somewhere around there, and you kind of want to make it small first, drag it up to the screen and make it bigger. Now this is depending on where you want to shoot with. So if you want to shoot with the right, do the same thing on the right side. This is for the left. So you want to do that. Kind of messed up a little bit. So I'm going to make it small, put it up there. All right, and that's it. So that's where the shoot button is going to be. It's going to be the ADS type. So the, I think that's what we're going to be doing here. Next up is a joystick. Joystick placement. This is usually where your joystick is. So I'm comfortable with, if I'm actually playing right now, I probably need to move it a little bit down a little bit like that. Maybe even to the left. So yeah, usually you kind of have to like take your phone and just have a good placement and just tap on it. Just imagine that you're in a game right now. How would you start off? Would you kind of start off like this? So I'm gonna have it down there. You can do whatever you like to do. Have it placed where you're most comfortable with. We have the left side perfectly covered. We're gonna add a few more things to the left side. So the first thing is for this three finger claw is actually moving the crouch to the top left. Now, the reason why I say this is because when we're gonna be in a gunfight in a, and we're using three fingers, you can just crouch. So you're moving your joystick first and then you click crouch second. And when you click on it, you move over to shoot. And it's gonna, what's gonna happen is you're gonna start sliding in whichever direction your joystick is going or your thumb is pointing towards. So for example, you're running straight, you use your thumb to move to the left and then you click crouch and then you click ADS and you move your thumb to the right or wherever, wherever the enemy is. And that way you can slide and do your cool movements. That's the best way that I can explain it to you guys how to do that. And uh, yeah, that's the setup for now. So we're gonna actually move this aside we're gonna drag this down a little bit here and we're gonna move this jump right here. So this jump is gonna be right here. So what's gonna happen is sometimes instead of crouching, we can jump sometimes and just shoot. 
the jump is not really necessary. Not a lot of people during our games, not a lot of people jump. And most of us only crouch and prone. So those are the, the two most used. Well, ADS shoot is most used, but crouching and proning is really popular in Call of Duty. So those two things are very important. Jump is kind of like there just to be safe. Now, uh, if I was you, I would kind of pick it up a little bit to 130. Five, 135 is perfect and yeah we're set to go so now i don't really use knives because i get into a very sticky situation so i don't really need it next up is we're going to actually move this aside to the left okay so this is the stairs you don't really need it you don't really need that nobody really uses it you kind of want to get into it like start throwing nades back but it just never happens so these kind of three buttons are useless all right, I'm going to go ahead and just move everything up here. And uh, just, just we're getting, we're kind of moving everything aside. So this is going to be on your right. So sometimes when you're in a fight and you're playing as a three finger player, you kind of need to pull it out, right? So it's going to be right there for you. It's going to be easy to remember and you can just click on it whenever you can. All right, so this is important. The reload is going to be bigger size. You're going to need it right here. This is usually where I would put it. Um, and then, so you want to have your aim to the left. You want to have your ADS. I don't know why it says ADS mode on top there, but this is the prone. You want to make sure it's right here. You can probably make it even bigger if you want. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is where you want to start off. Now we're going to have this prone. All right, so the chat, we're going to leave it up there as a primer. We're going to leave the chat up there. We're going to also leave this uh, a little bit here. We're going to make it smaller. And then we're going to move this. We're going to have it right there. All right, so these buttons are really useless. I'm just going to put them up here just in case. All right, and then these are kind of the final steps. So we're going to have this moved over here. Usually what I recommend is kind of making it about... 61 and you don't want to put it all the way down in the bottom you kind of want to have it halfway like this a little bit like that a little bit up oh, there we go and then you want to make it big <laughs> there we go and then you want to move this and you want to make it 82 you want to make this 82 82 there we go And you kind of want to move all of this down right there. Okay, and then this. Just going to be right there. Yeah, kind of like that. Just like this. There we go. Now, we're not done yet. We have to put the mini-map right here. We're going to have it at 70. So the mini map, you can actually customize the map a little bit. I'm going to actually get into that probably in the future. Maybe we'll talk more about it once we kind of know what's going on. But as a mini map, I'm going to leave it down there. We're going to have to plant the bomb and then we're going to make it smaller right here. Then we're going to have the run emoji. We're going to have the run button right here. We're going to make it nice and big. We're going to also take this one and we're going to put it up there. The dance icon is going to be right there. We're going to make the scale a little bigger on that one. And then the settings as well. Now this is going to be perfect. So now that you kind of have everything set up, uh, you want to take your shoot button that you were kind of hiding and you want to place it right above the scope. That way whenever you're sniping, it's going to show up. And for the knife, you can leave it right here if you're comfortable with knifing. Uh, you know, you can try this out. But yeah, guys, this is the three finger claw setup. And I realized this is so much easier to use. And I'm going to show you guys right now. So what I'm going to do is I usually play with gyroscope on. But for this video, I'm going to have it turned off just to show you guys what it's like playing on uh, three finger claw. Now, I'm not really, you know, uh, skilled with it. You know, I've been playing four finger claw, but I've noticed that this little HUD actually helped out a lot. 
this HUD kind of helped out my little bro. So he was trying to get into claw and I saw this opportunity to teach him and it helped him out a lot. And I saw maybe I can show you guys. So this, right off the bat, you want to make sure you slide. Every time you're in an encounter, there we go. You want to make sure you slide. I kind of messed up. One thing I recommend is doing this. You slide and you aim right away. You shoot right away. My settings are really, really low. So if you are playing with my settings, good luck. It's just really, really low. And it's for just to be more accurate. So one thing is you kind of always want to just kind of always want to make sure that you have that set up so the first time i played with it i realized the prone is kind of useless in my opinion so i decided to add it up here that way you can just try to get used to it this way and it's going to be a big process but overall this is probably the best way to get used to it and yes yeah, probably should be better for you guys so yeah this is the updated version so if you guys want to try this out go give it a shot this is what i would recommend if you're trying to get into it this is an updated three finger claw HUD. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, it will help me out a lot. Check out the Essex sleeves. There's a link down below where you guys can actually buy them. They're really, really nice and they're really comfortable. They prevent me from being inconsistent. And I'm always consistent with my uploads now. Like every single day I've been uploading videos and it's just super easy to play now with these things on. So I highly recommend it. There's a link down below, go check it out. Made out of carbon fiber. And these are like the long lasting sleeves. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. Peace out.